Y'all got us this time. All right. Speak to representative. The soap in 20. Um, Look at that. We haven't seen everywhere. snow since we were seniors in high school. flight got canceled they're gonna get us a hotel they say because obviously we don't live here and we're not gonna sleep in the airport the moment we got the notification we literally got the notification we didn't even need to see what it said we just saw it said air canada we were like fuck, fuck. Uh, oh, oh this is slanted i thought there were stairs oh <laughs> that's so uh, that's i guess that's quicker trees i guess that's quicker this is the first time i've ever been on a it's just an incline I'm just like there are no way. stairs on this escalator. It's just an incline. This is weird. Then you just step off. That's interesting. So now we gotta get our suitcases so that we can actually put clothes on and like brush our teeth and not pull up tomorrow feeling please, absolutely please. fucking disgusting. Got it. Got you. Got you. Ugh. Okay. We made like five TikToks and then Kirsten hurt her knee because of the video we were doing. So we are leaving now. We decided that was enough for tonight. We got our hotel for the night and we also got a taxi for to the hotel and back. And we're not leaving until 6 p.m. tomorrow. So it's really like all day tomorrow. Oh, yeah, let's put our jackets on. Okay, a taxi. We don't have taxis in Houston. Yeah. Do we have to put our hand out and do the thing? Trinities. Oh, fuck. A taxi. Head ass. Woo! <laughs> Immediately, I though? I never guessed that. That's so crazy. Taxi. Taxi. Head ass. <laughs> yeah, we're clearly not from here. <coughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, we are going to the Courtyard Marriott Hotel. I know you already know what hotel we're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we don't make it see. Okay. We just finished the most awkward taxi ride ever in existence. When we got in there, he was like, at first he didn't eat me. I thought he was gonna immediately ask us like, oh, where are you going? Where are you headed? Because we're in the car with you now, like you're a taxi. But that was weird. There's actually snow outside. We haven't seen snow since we were seniors in high school. So when Kirsten saw it. So the first thing she thought, she said, oh, there's sand on the ground. I hope I'm like, no, here's that snow. The first thing we did when we got out of the car was we would go touch it. No, obviously, because we have a voucher. We have the voucher, obviously. nigga. You ain't got no voucher, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this hallway looks endless. Kirsten, look at this hallway. Thank you. Yay. In this thing. Was, everything was in one room. We got the fucking living room. We got the fucking yeah. kitchen. We got the king. I said, give me a king. Ooh, the bathroom. And it's a handicap um, room, so the bathroom's a little bit bigger. Ah Let's see the view. Yeah. How you gonna hate from outside the hotel? You can't even get in. Views are none. This is a room. <laughs> No views, but it's okay. We don't need no views. We're cool. After a whole day of like, first of all, we barely made it. Like, uh, Kirsten left her passport in the car. I left my purse at Subway. Cameron had to get picked up 30 minutes before we needed to leave. Like, everything that could have gone wrong seemed like it was going wrong. Then we get here and they, they're trying to delay the flight. <laughs> Delaying the flight. When we got that last cancellation, we're like, yep. That's that. This city does look boring as hell. It's like you. Don't, I guess we're not in like the skyscraper part of like. I don't know. Do they have skyscrapers out here at all? Really? Like, I mean, that's like more Toronto. We're in Montreal, so we have like forty dollars in food vouchers, three taxi vouchers for however much. Damn it! This voucher is only valid for transport to the destination specified above. Y'all got us this time. All right. Y'all got us this time. <laughs> Fine. Well, we still got the food voucher, so that's forty dollars, which is perfect because they robbed. They really ran our pockets today with that. I don't want to talk about the food I ate today. It's been a long day of travel. Realistically, <laughs> we're about to go to sleep. We're about to take a shower. Yeah, maybe we chill and go to bed. Good morning. I honestly forgot we were in Canada until I woke up. What time is breakfast over? 
Yeah, it's okay. Are you dead ass? Oh, it's Let's get up. <laughs> wow, they really be having snow out here. Not gonna lie, the breakfast is delicious. These are hash browns. These are pastries. And this is an English muffin with cheese. And then this is like a breakfast burrito. And then some apple juice. Okay, so we are officially dressed. Um, we thought we had more time, but they called us and let us know that we actually have to get the hell out by 1 p.m., even though our flight is at 6, so that was super cool. We went ahead and got ready, um, and it's I- It's 123. <laughs> it's 23. No one said anything yet, so I think they're just waiting for us to come downstairs, and we're gonna use our taxi. The breakfast was delicious. I was just so torn on what to wear today because I already used my good 13-hour flight fit yesterday like the flight the, the fit that i planned to be in for 13 hours on a plane was worn yesterday um and i just wanted something comfortable today and we just i just watched a video on tiktok on how to get a refund for the cancellation so of course they're gonna refund our flight two pairs which is lit but also on top of that giving us an additional 400 to a thousand dollars potentially once they realize that like hey we canceled your flight for, uh, and then that delay, like we are now delayed a day. So hypothetically, even though our mom is in Paris, cause we took two different flights. So that's why my mom is in here. Our mom is already in Paris, but she had a hotel reservation and everything. So if it was us who had the reservation and now we are late on our reservation that we paid for, you know, other things that go into it, we could have had excursions planned, whatever the case may be, they owe us some money because they've thrown us off for a day and they put us in the most boring city ever, it seems. Cause I was looking up things to do in Montreal and I simply just could not find anything. And look at how, I guess if you look at the, like, I guess, I don't know, maybe we're just not in the spot, but it looks like there's nothing to do out here. It is, it's also flat and I'm just not used to being in a city with no skyscrapers, so. <laughs> Anyways, we are about to head out right now um, against our will because we have to check out. I took a nap after breakfast because that food knocked me out. And now I'm still not hungry, but I'm about to head over to the airport and check in and do all that stuff. Speech representative. Speech representative. Hello, my name is Trini Jackson and I'm in Canada right now. We had got a flight through United that called United. We are on the phone for like 15 minutes, got the situation handled, went to, I ended up booking, we had to end up like checking in online and then checking our bags and stuff. So now we're officially through the TSA and stuff and at this nice little restaurant, which I don't know where this was yesterday because this actually looks like they have some real food going on here. We have a $10 voucher from yesterday. Mind you, everything here is $20 anyways, so, but it's like a half off type situation. So we'll take what we can get. The food came super quick. We got a penne pasta, a pesto pasta. It's massive, like this is a little mountain. And they did the thing where they sprinkle the Parmesan on. Homeboy is watching the football game through the glass. So he's been standing here the whole time we've been here. And it looks like he's going to be staying. So about to give it our, about to give it our first taste test. Let's see. This is delicious. This is really, really good. We are officially about to board and I'm so tired. And just like that, we are finally, finally, finally on the plane. Ooh, no one's in this whole world. On our way to Paris. extremely drained it's crazy this feels like this feels like the worst travel experience i've had i'm not gonna lie to you just because it seems like everything that could have gone wrong went wrong twice so I, I, at first at first the flight was going good y'all saw the video the food came lit 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 i take a nap wake up 
and proceed to vomit the entire contents of my stomach into a small paper bag at the back of the airplane. Um, then, about an hour later, I did it again. So I, I've never, ever, 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 ever thrown up on a plane. So, I mean, yes, there was some turbulence, but it was nothing crazy. So that, I literally was putting my entire stomach into a bag. Like, I was like, what? Crazy, my face was getting hot. We get off the plane. But I bet let's go to Gap Baggers Claim. We sitting in Baggers Claim for like 15 minutes. <laughs> Guess what? Bags are in Montreal. We file a claim. Surprise. Surprise. They're gonna send them to our hotel tomorrow. Guess what? Still got a 76 minute train ride to get to the hotel. Making our way to the train. And Kirsty got me some nice puke bags from McDonald's. Everywhere else, you gotta. First off, they're charging, and then they have these gold coins like they're leprechauns. I don't know what's going on here. What's happening? Not dissing the currency. <laughs> In all honesty, not having our suitcases is making this part a lot easier. We're gonna let y'all know when we get to the hotel. We've officially made it out of the train station after having asked 15 people for directions going up three flights of stairs like all the trains are like on top of each other so it's like levels and levels of trains and trains it can get very confusing of course we're headed now we're walking to the hotel a little five minute walk feels like i haven't stopped moving for the last 48 hours okay didn't even get to show y'all the hotel because i got here immediately changed and we all took like a seven hour nap it's like 5 30 right now this is the downstairs of it. Little desk right there, closet entrance, and you go upstairs and the bed's up there. So there's no like kitchen or anything, but that's okay. That's fine. I guess I don't really do that in here. But this is the bathroom as well. There's a bidet. We love that. And this is a towel warmer and it is very hot. We're going to the Seine River and Arc de Triomphe water tour. I, of course, as you know, we don't have our suitcase, so I went ahead and borrowed some pants from my mom so we can have a layer because it is a little windy. But I'll get some food and then go on a tour. Ah. The soap in 20. Um, I was in Italy. I like it's one, negative one, and zero. Like, what? Kirsten's got the dark lipstick on. Like. So my mom had came to this restaurant the other day and had these little shrimp things and says they're delicious, so. We are officially starting to climb to the top of the arc and I'm getting hot. We've been in here. We've been in here all the four minutes and I'm hot to the top. Look, doesn't look so cool. the streets that come into the roundabout. We actually, this is actually our first time seeing the Eiffel Tower this whole time. Wow. That's where our hotel is? Yeah. So we have two rooms and it's the Eiffel Tower. This literally looks, it looks so cool. It's like a massive, like, how they built things this big out of stone no, like look at that out of stone it is literally right there right up on the Apple Tower look at that wow we barely made it on the cruise the tickets we had the tickets we had weren't right had to buy more tickets and run to the entrance look at this we have the eiffel tower in the background that's crazy hi hello waving 
All these faces are different. Yeah. Wow. Very romantic. He told us to make a wish as we pass under. I wish. For don't make. Don't make out loud. That's not how wishes work. The fact that the Eiffel Tower is right here is honestly crazy. This is so lit. Ah. Look, 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 there's a little fan for innovation. Oh, I mean, this is genius. 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 Yeah. Genius. Genius. Wow. Making it happen. She's, the Eiffel Tower is off. They turn it off at like 11. There's so, no money apparently for electric She said they can't afford to keep it on. A broke France. What would Napoleon Bonaparte say? Nothing. He would say nothing. So we're going to walk to the hotel. And we're going to call that a day. So stay tuned for tomorrow.